Uh, my name's Myron, and the reason, hi, what's your name? Well, how do you do? I'm glad to meet each and every one of you. Um, helping me today, what I'm going to do today is tell you some stories. Uh, would you like to hear some stories today? Okay. Um, the stories... The stories I want to tell you, um, I don't know if Ms. Hall was, have you read them any of the stories? Okay, okay, so these are going to be different stories, but I'm going to do them a different way. Instead of reading you the stories, I'm going to sing the stories to you. And... Undaunted 
adopted by her friends who said she'd end up either lost or dead. Joe packed a suitcase and resolved, despite the distances involved, to carry on and see it through. Then tucks away for Wangaloo. Through stormy clouds and driving rain, Joe piloted her sturdy plane. In Paris, Rome, and Istanbul, she stopped. But once her tanks were full, flew off again mile after mile toward the far-flung tropic isle. She passed by a rocky peak, the radiator sprang a leak. She barely missed the mountain top, but knowing she would have to stop, Joe safely brought her plane to land in the barren waste of burning sand. Thank goodness Joe was quickly found by desert tribes who gathered around, exclaiming, It's the last quarter, the celebrated movie star. She made the lucky pilot laugh and signed for them her autograph. They gladly showed her how to bung the leaking hole with camel dung. Then once her engine was all right, she gratefully resumed her flight. In India, completely lost, with miles of jungle to be crossed. Joe landed in a likely place, but trembled when she turned to face a tiger of stupendous size who looked to her with hungry eyes. No need for Joe to get upset. The tiger was a playful pet whose master stepping into view gave Joe a cheerful, how do you do? The newfound friend was furthermore the wealthy Raj of my soul. This odd eccentric gentleman was quite by chance Joe's greatest man. Enchanted by his favorite star, he towed her home behind his car and helped Joe cast it to unwind. He really was extremely kind. Joe's final journey proved to be across the shark-infested sea, oh, down to the waves her fuel all spent. She made a perilous descent, but her help was near. To her delight, the ship came steaming into sight. The captain soon took Joe on board and fortunately could afford enough spare fuel to fill her tank so she, with gratitude and thanks, took off again into the blue and came at last to Wangaloo. She landed with a gentle glide to find Pinjat unoccupied. Joe weighed the anchor with much glee and watched the yacht drift out to sea. She stole ashore while Maxwell slept and found the cage where Belle was kept. So overjoyed was Belle to see her mistress come to set her free. She hurtled into Joe's embrace. She nuzzled her and licked her face. And then they tiptoed down the beach to fly away beyond Pim's reach. arrived. 
crowd and found the gang had just survived. Subdued and ragged, starved and frail, faced the lengthy stretch in jail. So dog napping cost Maxwell dear and spelled the end of his career. And he who'd known both power and riches faced the future digging ditches whilst Joe and Bell once more became secure in a luxury and fame. And both of them resumed with pride their starring story. Side by side. Joe cast a call. Joe cast a call. 